Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I want to celebrate a little bit and teach you a little bit about ASCII art and curses. I don't know if you've noticed, but recently this channel hit an important milestone. We hit 25,000 subscribers, which is really exciting, especially since most of that growth happened in 2020. And I just wanted to take a moment to thank all of you, all of you who subscribe to the channel and who share these videos with other people and who give me suggestions and who buy merch like this, who support the channel through Patreon in order to get source code, but also just to help support what I'm doing. And those of you that post comments on the videos to help other people with their problems, all of this is really helping and it's really wonderful to watch this all come together and I couldn't do this without your help. So of course I'm excited. I shared this with my daughters and my daughter says, Cool, cool Dad, so when do you get one of those YouTube play buttons? I don't know if you're familiar with the YouTube play buttons, but YouTube doesn't give them out for 25,000 subscribers. You need to have 100,000 subscribers in order to get one of those shiny buttons from YouTube. But of course, I don't wanna let that dampen my mood. I mean, who wants to wait around for some arbitrary milestone in order to get some plaque that someone else made. Now that's not really in the spirit of this channel. So instead I thought, why don't we just make our own play button? I mean, why wait? So this video is gonna be really quick, but I just wanted to show you how to use curses, which is something you may not be familiar with, in order to create an ASCII art play button that seems appropriate for 25,000 subscribers. I'm not gonna get too fancy with this one. Maybe we'll do something fancier at 30,000 or at 50,000 or whatever. But for 25,000, ASCII art just felt like the right feel. It felt like the right vibe both for this milestone and for this channel. And we're going to make our job a little bit easier by using curses. So what is curses? Some of you may have heard of it. Some of you may not have heard of it. Basically, curses is just a library available on just about any system. It's a library that allows you to do GUI-like things in a text-only device like the terminal. Now, longtime followers of this channel will have seen curses before, even though you may not have recognized it. On last year's Halloween video, I used it to make the matrix-like text that was dripping off the screen. Source code for that is and has been available through Patreon for a while, but also let me know down in the comments if you're interested in seeing more about this, like a video that explains how I actually did this text dripping green matrix-like thing, because I can definitely take you through it if there's enough interest. But today we're going to use curses, well, n curses, which is the new curses, the second generation curses, to draw ourselves a simple play button. So let's jump into the code. So the code for today's video is pretty short. It's just one .c file. All of it you can see right here. I'm gonna take you through it really quick. We also have a make file, I'll show you that, but there's really nothing fancy there. If you've seen my other make tutorials, that'll be pretty straightforward. Okay, so if we look in our main function right here, you'll notice that it does a few things. First of all, we're just going to run this program with a name. You know, I really I thought I'd make this customizable so that you could make your own, so you could get this code and actually make your own play button that has your own name on it if you so desire. So I'm also defining a couple different variables here which are basically just telling you, well, this is ASCII art, so it's we're basically just defining what characters we're going to use for different parts of the play button. But then down here, I'm going to actually save that uh, name that you passed in as an argument, if it's passed in. And then down below, down here, we actually in initialize the curses library. Okay, so this is init scr or init screen. Okay, so this just basically sets things up. And I get this handle right here, which is a pointer to this window thing, some kind of opaque data type I'm not really gonna jump into, but we check to see if it's null. If it is, that means there was some problem initializing curses and we return false. Okay, then after this, really all we have are a bunch of drawing functions, and these are functions that I have written. I'm gonna take you through them in just a minute. But so I'm basically going to make a rectangle using the background character, and then I have some circles I'm gonna draw. I actually use this because I wanted to round the edges of the play button to make them so they're, they're nice and smooth. And then I also have some other rectangles which help sort of fill out the edges. So, so you have the rounded corners, those are the circles, and then use rectangles to basically fill in and make a rounded rectangle. So that's really all this is doing right here. And then I'm using these offsets. This sort of is just determining how far in from the window from the top and the bottom. Also notice that this max x and max y, these are some pound defines up here that I define, basically def defining how big the canvas I'm working on is. So in this case, we're looking at 120 characters wide and 37 characters tall. You could of course adjust this for whatever terminal size you wanna work with. And you'll notice also I have this triangle width and triangle height. I use these to decide how big I wanna make the little triangle thing in the middle of the play button. 
So if we come down here, back down to main, just really quick, then just so you can see basically the whole picture of what main is doing, I'm going to come down here and I'm going to draw the play triangle that's happening right in here. And basically it's a little more complicated, but in this case, all it's doing, it, it's a little fancier because I wanted to actually have the top part of the triangle with one character and the bottom part of the triangle with another so that they sort of slope in. You'll see what this looks like in just a minute. And then after that, I just want to print out some text. This is our celebration text, which says, hey, you got 25,000 subscribers. So feel free to grab this code and make your own play button with however many subscribers that you have. After that, we're just gonna do something simple, which is we're going to wait until a key is pressed. Once the user presses a key, then it's gonna go away. So this isn't a functional play button. Maybe we'll do that in a future video. But at this point, all we have to do is delete the window and end the window. So this is basically just the cleanup functions for the curses library. And then we're going to exit, okay? So that's really all there is to it. I'm just drawing a play button and then waiting for someone to admire it until they hit a key and then it disappears and then you can run it again if you want. Okay, so let's go up and look at our drawing functions really quick. Okay, so for example, let's say we draw a circle. So in this case, we want a function that's going to draw a circle. For this function, I provide the center point, the X and the Y value that's gonna be the center of this point and then also a radius. Now the note up on top just says that I treat the, the Y radius as half and that's because characters are roughly twice as tall as they are wide. So if I use the same radius, I'm not going to get a circle circle. I'm going to get like a, an ellipse and that's not really what I want. And then this character right here, this is what I'm going to fill this circle with. And then after that, really all I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this circle area, the, the area the circle is going to sit in as a rectangle, okay? This is gonna be a filled in circle. So what I'm going to do is go through this rectangle, starting from the left to the right and the top to the bottom. And then basically all I'm going to do is to compute the distance from the center of each of these points. And if it's within the circle, if it's less than or equal to the radius of the circle, then I'm going to use this move add ch. This is a function that comes with curses that allows you to place a character at a particular xy location in our little frame. And so I'm going to take the fill character and just stick it there, okay? And that's really all there is to it. I'm just going through this rectangle and anything that's within the radius that I specified is going to be filled in and everything else is going to be just left how it was. Now we do something very similar with rectangles, only it's a lot simpler. In this case, all we're gonna do is go from left to right and top to bottom, and we're going to fill it in with whatever character I provided, okay? So in this case, rather than specifying the center, we have the left and the top, and we have the width and the height of our rectangle. That made more sense to me. And these are our two drawing functions. So quickly, we wanna run this and see if it works. But first, I just wanna show you quickly my make file, just so you've seen everything. Really nothing too fancy here, only you notice that I have added the directive to link with end curses. This just basically says, hey, main's going to need this library, so make sure to link with it. Okay, so let's jump over here into our terminal. We can compile our code like this. Nothing too fancy. Um, we can run it and you notice in this case, I didn't provide a name. So it's just going to say 25,000 subscribers. But the point is you see the play button here. This is what I was talking about with the triangle of having sort of the top half I wanted to slope down and the bottom half slope up. Feel free to customize this however you want and use whatever characters you want for different sections. My background is, is this vertical bar and then I'm just using spaces for the actual play button. Thought it looked kind of nice. And it's gonna sit here, of course, until I hit a key and then we're done, okay? Now, of course, I can also run it with my name. And, oh, hold on one second, I forgot quotes. Okay, so there you go. Now it's celebrating and it's customized to me and that's great. And I know instantly all of you are thinking, ooh, there's all these other things I'd like to see. What about colors? What about animations? What about like, can we make it clickable? Can we make it so it actually looks like it presses? Today, no time for that. But don't think I haven't thought about it. If you have requests for this play button, put it down in the comments below. And next time I hit a milestone where I'm feeling like celebrating, maybe I'll add color or add animation or something like that so I can teach you something else about curses. Or who knows, maybe the next play button will be using GTK or some other graphics library and we'll be able to get a little fancier with it. Whatever the case, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, liking, for all the things you do to support this work. Check out my other videos if you enjoyed this. Be sure to tell your friends and I will see you and your friends in the next video.